Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the laws of Kashas of Yom Enforced. And we're talking about Gevinas Akum, the cheese that is made by the non Jews. Yesh Lishal you can ask the following question. If a little bit of the skin of the walls of the stomach is put inside of the milk or the, that's making the cheese, so it should be what's called bottle bimiutoi. So since it's such a small amount, it should be bottle should be nullified in the larger amount of the milk and the cheese that is there. So in that case, why then is the cheese that is made by the non-Jews, why is it usr? Why is it prohibited? Well, there's nothing to be concerned about over here because everything is going to be kosher. Hachuvihi, the answer is shebechol zois, nevertheless. Or hakevish humaymir es agvina. The stomach lining is something that is maymir, it holds up the gvina, holds up the cheese. Who davar hamaimit? It's called a davar hamaimit, something that is holding up that which is in it. The cold davar hamaimit, and anything that is holding up the thing that's in it, ain't no bottle, it's not nullified. Which means that the skin of the stomach of the, of the animal, the non kosher animal over here, retains its status. And it's never bottled, it's never nullified, no matter how much you put it into. You could still ask, though. Why are they only concerned about the stomach lining of a non-kosher animal? Even if you had the stomach lining of an animal that was shechted properly, you still have a mixture of meat and milk because the stomach lining of the, of the animal is meat. The milk that's in there, obviously that's milk. And you just told me that the stomach lining, which is a Dover Amayimit, supports the milk that's in there, the cheese that's in there, is never bottled, never nullified. So therefore, you should have meat and milk and therefore the cheese should be also you not, should not be allowed to eat it. Even cheese that's made by a Jew, where you know for sure it's Jewish milk, and it's an animal that was shechted in its kosher, it should still be also because of basa v'cholav. So the Rishonim answer, It's only because of the concern that the animal that's being used to make the cheese is not kosher, that's why the cheese of the non-Jew is asr. Ki ma she'ein davra ma'imid botel, hanu rak davra ma'imid shu davra asr. This that we say, that the davra ha'maimid, the thing that's holding up the cheese, never is nullified, that's only when the thing that's holding it up is asr itself. Ava basa b'cholav e'nu nasa davra isr, but basa v'cholav, milk and meat being mixed together, can only become considered milk and meat when one is giving flavor into the other. And therefore the fact that you have the stomach lining of the shechted kosher animal, you don't have a problem over here. Ki basa akeva besari, because the flavoring that's there inside of the keva, the stomach lining of the kosher animal, it becomes bottle, it becomes nullified in and of itself, and therefore all that you're left with is the gvina, the milk that is there. And therefore that would not be a problem of cheese being mixed together with meat, and that's why kosher cheese which is made from kosher milk, is going to be kosher for a Jew to eat. Have a wonderful day.